discussing ASTM Delta 1709, also known as the standard test methods for impact resistance of plastic film by the falling, free falling dart method, which is also commonly referred to as the falling dart impact resistance. The necessary safety precautions for this lab are a lab coat, similar to this one I'm wearing, and for safety this lab, glasses. You'll need a little over 20 pieces of 7 inch by 7 inch plastic film samples. We'll be using four different materials, and the lab necessitates 10 breaks for each sample. To start, we'll look at the film clamp. You'll want to carefully unload the clamp and open it as follows. You want to carefully load your sample and make sure that it does not go over the edge and to keep any of the area underneath the ring exposed. After it has been covered, carefully close the clamp to prevent any finger injuries. Now let's look at the dart. Now before you want to release the dart and test on any samples, you obviously want to mask the dart using one of the balances that we have in the lab. For loading the dart, you'll simply want to push the dart up into the slot at the top until you hear a loud firm click. Be careful not to let the dart fall out and waste any samples. To release the dart, simply pull back the black knob. Make sure to catch the dart after its first bounce, because if there are multiple impacts, the test sample will have to be voided. Do as follows. Unload the sample very carefully. Now, if you carefully analyze the film, you'll notice that there's been a break in the film. This would mean a failure. If our film sample were not to break, we'd have to add mass. When choosing mass, make sure you are only using that variable throughout the remaining lab. If I were to add 15 grams of mass, I could only add or subtract 15 grams to that dart throughout the remainder Here of the I've lab. Here I've added 15 grams to the dart. If the mass of the dart does not break the film, then I'll need to add another additional 15 grams. However, if it does break, I'll have to subtract that 15 gram mass. It is important to note that if the film is not broken by a sample, it should still be discarded. Using the same film sample twice is against ASTM standards. For lab cleanup, make sure all mass is removed from the dart and the dart is placed back in the red bin. Put the red bin in the cabinet noted as 1 in cubicle 1. Make sure your film samples have all been removed and the area is clean of any film remnants. Close the clamp carefully and exit the area with all of your samples in a bag. For the data sheet, the first column will denote the mass of the dart. You can simply start with the mass of the dart at the bottom, or if you're starting with additional mass, put it roughly in the middle of the sheet. X will denote a failure or a break of the sheet. You'll want to mark an O in the case of a non-failure. Obviously, this will increase and decrease as the number of samples goes on. NI denotes the number of breaks for that mass. I, however, is a ranking. At zero, you will place the lowest mass at which the sample has been broken and increase for each weight increment onward. INI is a simple multiplication of the previous Any two. Any additional necessary calculations are found at the bottom of the page. 